So in the last uh, video, I talked about the divergence of a vector field. The divergence, we'll see later, typically means that you have a source of something. So things are going out. Um, for a curl, if a vector field has a non-zero curl, it usually means that there's some swirling motion, some, uh, some um, vorticity, we say, in the vector field. Okay, but let's go to the mathematical definition. So we have a uh, vector field, U. So again, this is uh, U1 of x, y, and z. We don't need to worry about time dependence in the i direction plus u2 of x, y, and z in the j direction, plus u3 of x, y, and z in the k direction. So the curl of this vector field is the um, del operator cross u. Okay, so the divergence of a vector field was del dot u, the scalar um, product. The uh, curl of the vector field is uh, del cross u, the vector product. So we can compute this using the 3 by 3 determinant. So this is i, j, k. Now we have the, um, the del operator, which is the derivatives, d, d, x, i, uh, d, d, y, j, and d, d, z, k. So that uh, d, d, z. So that goes in the second, second row. And then in the third row, we have uh, u. So we have uh, u1, u2, and u3. So this 3 by 3 determinant. So let's write that out. Uh, I'm going to need more room. So we have um, i. So we eliminate the first row and the uh, first column. So we have uh, du3, dy, minus du2, dz. And that's in the i direction. Then we eliminate the first row and the second column. So uh, because it gets a minus sign, we have du1 dz minus du3 dx, and that's in the j direction. And then we uh, eliminate the first row and the third column, and we get plus um, du2 dx minus uh, du1 dy. And that goes in the k direction. Okay? So the cross product, as always, is a little bit complicated. But here we have the cross product of this differential operator, del, with the vector field u, and we get this expression. So let's see if we can work a couple of examples here. So let's prove. Uh, prove a certain result. So prove that um, the curl of a gradient is equal to zero. Okay? So the gradient of a scalar field is a vector field, and the uh, curl of that gradient, I want to compute that. So um, what is this equal to? Uh, we can write down the, um, we can, of course, use this formula, but I'd rather do it from scratch. So if we do that from scratch, we have del cross the gradient of f is the determinant i, j, k, d, d, x, d, d, y, d, d, z. And the gradient of f. So the gradient of f, if you remember, is the partial of f with respect to x times i plus the partial of f with respect to y times j plus the partial of f with respect to z times k. 
So we're looking at this determinant. Um, we can compute that. So the first component, I component, is uh, the second derivative of f, so d squared f with respect to y and z, minus uh, d squared f with respect to z and y. And this is in the i direction. So we see this is a mixed partial with different order, but we have equality of mixed partials. So this is uh, zero. So this first component here is uh, zero, right? Because uh, the derivative with respect to y and z doesn't matter the order that you do it. The next piece then will be um, the j component. So that will be d squared f dz dx minus d squared f, um, this one, uh, dx dz. And that's in the j direction. And again, this is uh, mixed partials. And we have the equality of the mixed partials. So this is, again, uh, 0. Then the last component will be uh, in the k direction, will be uh, d squared f dx dy minus d squared f dy dx. And this is in the k direction. And again, because of the equality of the mixed partials, this thing is going to be 0. So we have 0 plus 0 plus 0. So this is the 0 vector, right? That's a 0 vector, because del cross del f is a vector. So this is a 0 vector. But I don't write the hats over 0. So you have to know whether it's a vector or a scalar. OK, um, the second one that is um, sometimes used. So this was the curl of a gradient is 0. The second one is the divergence of a curl. So prove the divergence of a curl equals 0. OK, this one, this 0 here is a scalar, so the divergence of a, of a vector field is a scalar. Uh, and this is the divergence of the curl of a vector field. So we can use our del cross u here uh, to compute this. So I'll do that directly. So del dot del cross u is equal to the derivative of the first with respect to x. So it's going to be a big salami. So the derivative of the first with respect to x, the derivative of the second with respect to y, and the derivative of the third with respect to z. So I think I can fit this here. We can do that. The derivative of the first with respect to x is du d squared u3 um, dx dy minus d squared u2 uh, dx dz. So that's from the first piece here. Let me put a parenthesis on it, though we don't need it. Plus the derivative of the second with respect to y. So plus d squared u1 dy dz minus d squared u3 dy dx plus the derivative of the third with respect to z. So that would be d squared u2 with respect to z dx minus d squared u1 with respect to z dy. OK? We have six terms here. Three of them have plus signs. Three of them have minus signs. Let's uh, look at them. We have a d 
uh, squared, right? This is this square here corresponds to the um, partial, right? A little bit off there. That's a square. Partial squared u three u three with respect to x with respect to y. Here we have a minus partial squared u three with respect to y and with respect to x. So the plus cancels the minus. Uh, we have the equality of mixed partials. We have a minus d squared u two with respect to x and z. And then we have a plus d squared u2 with respect to z and x. They cancel. And finally, we have the partial squared u1 with respect to y and z. And then we have minus partial squared u1 with respect to z and y. So equal equality of mixed partials, those two cancels too. So we have six terms, three positive, three negatives. They all cancel, and we get a nice zero here. That's a scale of zero. Okay, so let me uh, review. Uh, we have the curl of a vector field is defined as you would expect, how you define a cross product, where now the uh, del is a differential operator taking the second row. You can expand that and you get this um, long expression. Um, and then there are two uh, identities that will come in very useful. One is that the curl of a gradient is zero. And the second is that the divergence of a curl is equal to zero. These two identities show up all the time when you're manipulating uh, equations. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.